Hello everyone, Sir Wes here and welcome back to Educ Nation. Today I'm going to be showing you the trademark feature of the integrated school forms which is a macro-coded button that hides empty or unused rows automatically. And as you can see, I've already opened a sample sheet here where we can work on later on. But before we formally begin, I'd like to send some shoutouts and thank yous to a few people who showed support to our channel by sending us their donations to keep our projects going and also to be able to continue making helpful videos such as this one in the future. So thank you very much to Mr. Eduardo Porras Jr. from Davao City, Mr. Chris Vaughn Peña Florida from Cavite, Mr. Harold Arebado from Cebu, and to one of our teachers from Capiz City who doesn't want to be named that sent us the necessary amount to pay for the credit we had previously for our hosting services that allowed us to recover our files. To each and every one of you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. For everyone else who'd like to help us out in continuing these projects we have, you can check out the description box in this video to see what are the different modes of which you can send us your donations. Even a single peso is highly appreciated for it's the thought that really counts. Now, on to our tutorial. So our objective is to make a macro-coded button that will hide empty or unused rows in our Excel sheet. As you can see in our sample file, there are a lot of blank rows which didn't have any data in it. It could be that this data were removed for some reason or due to some errors or whatever. If you do this the conventional way, You'd be highlighting every blank row in your sheet, right-click on it, then click the hide option here to hide the blank row. Or maybe you press the control button on your keyboard, and then individually click all the blank rows one by one before you right-click on it and choosing the hide option. And with this much data, you'd pretty much be spending the next few hours repeating the same process over and over just to completely merge all this data into one. Let's unhide that row again to get our template back to its original form. As the objective of this tutorial, we will be hiding all the blank rows here in our file using a one-click button which will be powered by a macro code. But before we get to that, we need to create a certain condition to tell our VBA code a simple reference that should identify which rows are blanked or empty and which are not. To do that, we'll insert a column right here before the first column. So right-click on the A column and click on the Insert option. Now a new column appeared beside it. We'll name this column as our Identifier column. Maybe we'll merge this down the same number of cells of our first cell here in Schools. Let's wrap our text like so and maybe color our cell with yellow. Okay, that looks pretty good. What this column will do is to tell us and our code that this row is empty or not. To do that, we'll just type a simple IF formula here. So let's click on our first cell and type in equals IF followed by an open parenthesis. Click on this cell here which is B5. Type in equals quotation mark and another quotation mark which means that if B5 is empty, then followed by a comma, which means that we're now going to the result of our if condition, which is if condition is true, then it should give me a number zero. So that's a quotation mark, zero, quotation mark. Now what if B5 is not empty? Then let's add another comma here, which will show up if the result of our condition is false. Then it should give us one. So that's quotation mark, one, quotation mark. Then close our formula with our closing parenthesis and press enter. So basically, our formula says that if B5 is empty, this B5 here, it should give us a result of zero. But if our cell B5 has data in it, it must give us a result of one. And it did give us our desired result. Now that we know our identifier formula is working, we need to have this same formula all the way down to our last cell in our table. So, we go down to our last cell down here. This is the total, so our last cell should be this one. Which means, 
This cell beside it should be the last cell that our formula will be used for. Since we're already on our desired cell here, we press Shift and Control keys on our keyboard. And while holding both keys, we also press the up arrow key once. This automatically highlights all of these cells including the first cell which contain our formula which is A5. With all of these cells highlighted, we just press Ctrl D on our keyboards and there you go. All the cells have been identified if it's empty or not. So let's try to randomly check. This is zero, this is empty, and so is this one, and this one, and maybe let's go to the bottom. And yep, that's zero right there too. Now we've seen that our identifier cells are all working, we need to make our button to automatically hide all these blank cells right here. So we go to our developer tab in our ribbon, then we look for the button icon which is this one and click on it. And maybe put it right here. Once a pop-up shows, just click on cancel. Let's try to adjust the size of our button to make it look neat. Okay, I think that's fine enough. Then let's rename this button with hide button. And we'll also change its generic name here to hide button but without spaces. Though be sure to remember this name because we're gonna need it later on. Still on the developer tab, you can just click on the visual basic icon here to access our macro coding interface. This is our visual basic window. Don't be overwhelmed with it, we're just gonna be typing the code here on this sheet we have here. So let's double click on this sheet to open the declarations window for our VBA coding. So a new pop-up window just showed up. This is where we will be typing our VBA code to make our task a lot easier. I won't be explaining the code anymore because that would take so much time, but I'll be talking about a few parts wherein you can get this code to work on other templates if in case you'd be using this method again. To begin, I'm gonna name my code by typing sub hide row open close parenthesis. Dim ISF last row as long. Dim ISF counter as long. And then application that screen updating equals false. Application that calculation equals uh, manual. And then application dot enable events should be false. With active sheet, which means this sheet that is open. Dot shapes, open parentheses, quotation mark, hide button, which is the name of our button a while ago. Quotation mark, close parentheses dot visible should be true remember that the name of our shape here is the button we created a while ago wherein we changed its generic name to hide button without the spaces to continue we would need to set the last row of our isf last row so that's isf last row equals dot range open parentheses quotation mark a 10,000 quotation mark close parenthesis dot end open parenthesis XL up close parenthesis dot row okay and then for ISF counter equals 5 to ISF last row 5 here is the first cell row that our identifier formula was placed on that was a5 let's continue if dot cells open parenthesis isf counter comma quotation mark a quotation mark which tells us the column close parenthesis that value equals zero which means the zero a while ago then dot cells open parenthesis isf counter comma on column a 
So that's quotation mark, A, close quotation mark, close parenthesis, then dot entire row dot hidden equals true, and if. Followed by next ISF counter dot range open parenthesis quotation mark a1 close quotation mark close parenthesis dot select which means that after all the rows are already hidden the selected cell should be a1 and then end with application dot enable events equals true application that calculations equals automatic application that screen updating should also be true and then end sub which means we've already reached the end of our formula okay so that's about it that's our code right there now we need to test it if it's working correctly so let's go back to our sheet and here in our sample file we look for our button and right click on it and we choose assign macro on the pop-up window we choose the macro code we just created which is this one and click on it after that click on ok and now deselect the hide button by clicking anywhere in our sheet and finally just click on our button and there you go all the blank rows are automatically hidden let's check on our file and see if it worked all throughout our template that's it we've automatically hidden all our blank rows with just one click of a button so if you're going to use this code again in another file you have you just copy all the codes here in our visual basic window and paste it on your new sheet just remember to change all the dynamic parts like the button name which is this one your identifier column which is this one and where your column identifier cell started and with all of that you're good to go to show all of you once again, let's go back to our sheet and hide all our rows that were hidden and you can see all the blank rows here again. Now back up, we click on our button and our hide button works perfectly. We can just hide our identifier column like so and your file can now be easily printed without the blank rows which messes it all up. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe here in our channel and always click the notification bell to get notified with our latest videos. Like and share our videos to others so that they would learn from us too. If you want to have a copy of the codes we use here, you can find the article of this video tutorial in our website which is in the description box below. That wraps it all up for this tutorial. This is Sir Wes of the Integrated School Forms and thank you for watching.